As we get ready to wrap up the cookie program, you'll want to start taking a look at the Deposits tab and the Transactions tab. And if we look at the Deposits tab, we see all of the funds that have been collected by the Council on behalf of your troop. So you'll see the ACH debit uh, from February 11th, where the initial payment of $1 for every box that was in the troops possession as of January 31st is indicated and chances are you're also going to see a number of digital cookie payments and if your troop has been very active with digital cookie um, this could go on for several pages so you may need to um, to toggle between various pages to see all of the items um, in this case we just have a few each of these transactions um, each of these numbers does correlate to a transaction on the girl orders tab and when we cover the wrap-up material um, I'll show you an easy way to find a, a subtotal by girl of how much money was collected for each girl on behalf um, or, or collected on behalf of each girl through digital cookie um, some of these transactions like this one here this DOC ship um, ending in 5367 this is also going to correspond to an order or an entry on the transactions tab so let's go ahead and take a look um, oh, before we do one thing to note is that you cannot edit or enter anything on the deposits tab um, if anything does need to be entered in terms of an outstanding balance again covered during wrap-up that will need to be done by your service unit cookie coordinator so over on the transactions tab we see all of the covered transactions all of the cookies that were um, taken possession um, of by your troop so we have a couple of covered transactions from covered 9901 which is the Balboa Council covered um, for 288 240 and 60 boxes and we also have this DOC ship um, ending in 5367 for a total of 10 boxes and what that is is those are boxes that were never physically in possession of the troop they shipped directly from the distribution center um, but the troop needs to get credit for them so they post to the troop um, exactly as a covered transaction would but you aren't uh, physically receiving those boxes those were shipped direct to the customer and then of course that line is also accounted for on the girl orders tab for the girl who was responsible for that sale now if you need to enter a troop to troop transfer you will do that here on the transactions tab so we're going to go ahead and add a transaction and the second party is a troop and we're just going to go ahead and enter um, a troop number and we are going to transfer a case of Samoas and a case of tagalongs and this is already set to remove the product direct from um, direct from our stock now if you are the giving troop you will be the troop entering the transaction if you're the receiving troop um, you just need to pay attention to your transactions tab to show when that does occur if you want to go ahead and enter um, any information um, like the date maybe we actually did this transaction on the 28th we want to have it accurately reflect and if we want to enter any um, any contact information we can go ahead and enter that here in the contact info box information there we go and we can either say okay or we if we're entering this in advance we would want to save and print which then gives us a print window and has the receipt that both we would sign and the troop that is receiving the product signs and go ahead and say print to take that with us and close that window say okay if that the changes have saved and we now show that 24 boxes have been removed from our stock and are going to troop 99670